in heritage. It has a long tradition in folk literature. The Bali tradition is a unique heritage of Bangla folk music. Hey look, one of the most aesthetic celebrations in this Bengal is the Tula Puja. It is the largest Bengali festival held in the Bengali month of Ashur. It is the home for more than 166 separate tribes speaking a wide range of languages. <laughs> And the whole affair seems to be like spectre where they can see. Really, sir, we are proud to be in this.
Thank you all the teachers of the middle section, guiding the students from classes 4, 5 and 6 to put up such a show. Our next performance is the Fusion Dance. It is a presentation of the union of the traditional and trendy dance forms. It depicts the overcoming of anger, jealousy, greed and other negative attributes as they are washed away by the soothing showers. That symbolize calmness, composure and contentment. Choreographed by Madhusmita Bhagavati, Jupitaya Kalita and Mr. Raju. The dance is performed by students of classes 7 to 11. Thank you. 
Mr. Shekhar Gupta needs no introduction, being one of the luminaries of Indian journalism. Apart from, apart from being, part of being the editor-in-chief of the Indian Express, he also presents the Walk the Talk segment and on NDTV 24-7. He made a remarkable beginning to his career shining in his mid-twenties as a reporter with the Indian Express and did not look back since then. He showed promise as a budding journalist, winning the Inrax Young Journalist of the Year Award for the year 1985. His successful career is laced with awards like the G.K. Redley Memorial Journalist of the Year Award for the year 1997 and the Dr. Ali Tamil Award for National Integration for the year 2008 that was bestowed on him by the government of Assam. The scripting to the cabinet was complete with the prestigious Padma Bhushan for the year 2009. 
It won't be an exaggeration to say that the significance of this event is enhanced many fold as it is graced by a personality of his stature. May I call? Sir, we will request you to please come up on stage and speak a few words. Thank you very much. That was a very generous introduction. Uh, but I think I deserve something generous because I've been given the toughest job to perform this evening. And why is my the toughest job? Because if you have to speak between a great fusion performance, fusion dance, and between the awards and an orchestra, and you have to give a speech, you know how tough your job is. Because my colleagues told me today that be careful, you are giving a speech to a group of students. There is nothing for children that kids hate more than speeches. So don't give a long speech. So I am not going to give you a long speech. I am going to give you a long sermon instead. Don't worry. Uh, I will only talk to you for a few minutes. Uh, first of all, uh, let me compliment you, uh, you, your teachers, your principal, uh, Noya, who I knew as a child. Uh, most of all, Naya's parents, Philippe and Ponty, uh, whose dream the school was for putting up such a fine performance. And the performance is still on. The show is still on. Uh, we've been hearing applause all over till I last heard. Uh, the rumors were that there was a family of leopards in the hills behind us also watching and applauding. And if you let this information go out, you will soon find this as breaking news on one of your many news channels. Family of leopards applauding students of faculty high secondary school performing. Because uh, there is a serious side to life and there is a fun side to life. I know that all of you do very serious work uh, through the year. In fact, for two years, it's the biennial, biennial uh, cultural function. Uh, and you get to have a little bit of fun, which also needs a lot of preparation. Because studies these, these days are very tough. People of my generation are lucky that we did our class 12 or class 11 or class 10, whatever we need to get out of school, old school, school days, and got to some college. Because life is now so competitive uh, for school students that many of us would have found it very tough. <coughs> Having said that, uh, I'll take you back a little bit uh, to how the idea of your school started. I'm sure uh, Loya and Pradeep and Monty have told you about it. But many, many years ago, uh, to be precise, almost three decades back, uh, I remember Monty uh, and Pradeep fretting very often that Assam had so few English medium schools, modern schools, and the ones that were there, I shall not name them, and the ones that were there did not bother about as enemies of local culture. Absolutely not. So it was out of that frustration that the idea of the school started. It started as a small school uh, in the city. I remember coming there many, many years ago and being interviewed uh, to reverse the roles. And even then I could see that this was an idea, this was a seed of an idea uh, which was going to grow into a very large tree and maybe a forest of academic excellence which is what this school now represents. So congratulations to all of you. Now the summer part of my speech. I find that the only thing I can talk about with any sense of authority is my business which is the business of journalism. But I do also find that since journalists are generalists, they are not specialists at anything, whatever applies to them by way of advice and logic also should apply to other people in general. And I say always, when people ask me what is the first requirement of a journalist job, a journalist, for someone to become a good journalist, I say the first requirement is curiosity. You should be curious about what's going on around you, you should be curious about everything you see. And that is what applies to all of us in all fields of life. Number two, once you are curious, once you figure out what's the news, I mean there are all kinds of news these days, uh, but once you figure out what's the news, quote unquote, then you go after it and you see where your opportunities are and what are the methods you use to reach those opportunities. I didn't know I had a company music as well. Uh, once you, once you spot your opportunity, then you will find that in today's changing India, there are many ways of exploiting an opportunity. This India is very different from what, from what it used to be 25, 30 years back, when only people from a very few elite institutions came and cornered everything. I used to say that in my cynical moment, that in India it's very important that your parents should have done very well. 
because your parents have not done well, you don't have a chance in hell. But that's now changed. Now, I am saying this, I know, in what is an elite school. As you said, elite school is a first generation elite school. It's been paid by people who wanted to set up a different kind of elite school. But I will give you an example of non-elite India. Uh, very often when I go to institutions like IITs, IIMs, uh, the Infosys campus, I ask for a show of hands and I ask people, how many of you came from elite institutions, by way of schools, colleges, universities? And I find very few hands go up. And I found over the years, fewer and fewer and fewer and fewer hands go up. What does it tell you? That doesn't tell you that elite institutions, elite schools, schools like these are becoming less successful or less important. What it means is that the top of the pyramid is now getting wider because this is a change in India. Once you have curiosity, once you have enterprise, once you have the right ideas, you can break through the glass ceiling. The glass ceiling in many cases has been broken already. In many cases, it's moved much higher. So it's to this India that all of you belong. I am so touched to see this performance today. Uh, I live here in very difficult times. Very difficult times, not for me as a journalist, for me as a journalist, it was a fun time because the journalist, the bad news is always good news. Uh, but for the region, for the state, it was a very difficult time. Those times are now completely changed. Uh, I had a uh, former student leader and former chief minister, Prasun Mahanta, come to my office just last week. He wanted me to release a book, of, uh, which is a collection of uh, Mr. Mr. Himbanga's uh, writings. And I reminded him of the day when there used to be so much grievance and so much anger. And one thing I, I made then, which I'd like to repeat now is, that I find very often people complain, and many of you will complain if I met you out of this arena, is to say that the national media ignores the northeast. My request is, please do not bother about the national media. Because national media only goes to places which have bad news. So if the media doesn't come here, believe me, no news is good news because things are so much better in the Northeast now. Things are so much better in Assam now. This is a wonderful new period. And I think this school itself represents a great resurgence of this region. And if I had, if I needed any evidence, I, I found that evidence today in this wonderful, wonderful performance. On that note, I will conclude. I thought to myself, I will keep it about as short as the commercial between two TV programs. So, so you have your future dance and now you have orchestra, in the middle was my commercial. Although my friend Pranay Roy tells me these days that commercials actually are so good that they get higher PR being the news. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for being patient with me. I am so privileged to be here along with my wife. For us it's also a trip in nostalgia after so many years. I think I've crossed the north, to the north bank of Brahmaputra after in fact, if I may tell you, after exactly 27 years, uh, the last time I crossed the bank of Brahmaputra uh, to come to the Mount Bank was to cover a massacre in Mangalgoy. So can you imagine how things have changed? Congratulations to all of you and I am so happy to be sharing your joy. Thank you very much. Achievers of our institution for the last three years, we now have an award giving ceremony. And the first of the awards is Simon Kachari Memorial Award in memory of Simon Kachari, an ex student of the school who died while flying a MiG jet at the Call of Duty for his motherland in the year 1986. Simon's spirit of adventure, attainment of excellence in whatever he performed. His integrity and humility is still talked about by teachers and friends. We salute him. The Flying Officer Simon Kachari Memorial Trust, instituted by the family of late Simon Kachari, extends a memorial award of Rs. 5,000 and a citation every year 
to the best all-round student of the school. The objective of the Trust is to encourage and foster amongst us the spirit of adventure, competitive spirit, attainment of excellence in one's performance, dignity of man and integrity of the individual. May we call upon Mrs. Sano Maino Bhumiya and Mr. Nano Kachari to give away the awards.